Yeah. I used to love my flying around it, down to the Caribbean and stuff. But you have I your figured, cabana wear? Huh? You need cabana wear. No, you do cruise. all that. I saw your videos. Oh. You do all that. I don't <laughs> think I would fucking shop, especially for a cruise. Oh, come on. Um, I, I, We were really close to pulling the trigger and doing a cruise just because it would be a little easier this yeah. year. And then go, maybe go back to flying next year. Uh-huh. What the fuck is going on with that cruise ship? Well, that's carnival, man. Oh, and why boy. the fuck can't they? Why couldn't they uh, fly in supplies uh, sooner? Why was the cruise ship allowed to go 500 miles off course? Hmm. Well, that's the company, I think. I think they're, they're all the uh, ixnay. Let's, let's take care of this ourselves. Uh, let's oh. not get bad publicity. And then things kind of escalate. And then so, they're like, all right, we need some help. Oh, so they were hoping. Oh, so they kept it uh, under the... Under the QT or whatever. Uh, well, I think they try to handle it themselves at first. So what? They kind of like uh, flew some guys in that might know how to put an engine back together. Yeah, is it an engine like, problem? Well, this is a yeah. They had a fire uh, that affected the engine, and the the engine you know was everything to the to those ships, power right. and all kinds of shit. Uh, and then after a while, it's like okay, now we you know we got to tow this thing in. 500 miles off course, though? That's crazy, right? And then they only started flying in supplies, what, yesterday or two days ago at this point? Yeah. It got, to, uh, it got to the point where they were handing out onion sandwiches? Yeah. It should never get to the point where they're, they're giving out onion sandwiches. I bet they try to make it exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening on the Lido Deck, onion sandwiches. <laughs> Come on. Uh, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> People were shitting in bags and leaving it outside their rooms? Uh, this is your vacation? <laughs> yes. There was apparently like sewage sloshing in the hallways oh on uh, some of the decks and people are just squeezed out on the decks trying to get fresh air all day long yeah crowding themselves yep two hour lines to get uh onion sandwiches to get the onion yeah, sandwiches yeah they had to stand on lines uh just a disaster what they're a- towing them in at under five knots to uh, mobile heard- alabama oh, God. which they don't even get a nice destination some of the people are going to want to get back on the ship after they get off of Mobile, fucking Alabama. Good old Mobile. Yeah. Da-da-da. What else was Da-da-da. going on on that cruise ship? Imagine conga lining through fucking raw sewage. <laughs> you're just kicking your feet up and big lumps of shit are splashing on the wall as you're just conga lining through duty. <laughs> Doing the limbo, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you limbo, fuck up the limbo, you're going to get a, uh, a back full of shit. The girl's hair is fucking dredging through the fucking shit water. <laughs> <laughs> People are actually sleeping on the deck. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because yeah, their so rooms stuffy. The rooms are shot. They yeah. bailed on their rooms uh, a while ago, especially the ones it. that don't have the windows. And, hot, hot, hot. And what's going on? Four thousand fucking people just stuck. And they they don't have a system where they could get these people off the fucking cruise ship. Oh, I think uh, to do that would be a huge liability. Oh, you think? Yeah, you can't do that. You can't that's... just helicopter people off the ship all day long? That's crazy. And why would the company want to tie up an, an entire another cruise ship well, if they brought Guess what? They have no choice. Oh, You're 500 man. miles off course, and there's, there's sewage uh, rivers in the hallways. I mean, where are they going to do it? Then, then you got to deal with the people that were booked to be on that ship. Right. The ship that they use is like the rescue ship. It's a fine ecosystem, right? Oh, the cruise a, industry? you gotta, you got to fucking keep everything on schedule. Because now they're fucked. I, I heard this uh, cruise ship's going to be out of commission for at least a month, a month and a half. Yeah. That's a lot of cruises they're going to, you know... <laughs> Lose out on Carnival's the worst. They had something happen last year too. Yeah. Why is Carnival the worst? Uh, that's Anthony's it's the opinion. By it's, it's, a, the, it's a party cruise. It's a, yeah. I think we're safe to say they're the worst, uh, considering the situation yeah. at hand. It's the cheapest one. Um, they're they're uh, ships. Uh, they have I think the most old, uh, the oldest ships out of all the uh, cruise lines. I like I wait, like Royal Caribbean. Wait, you said they're the what? The, the cheapest. The cheapest. Yeah. And the oldest. Enjoy, enjoy your Twitter later. Oh, yeah. uh, no, no. Can afford <laughs> your AIDS. <laughs> you know, you're so you right. forgot where you came from. Oh, I bet when you were knocking ten, you know, there's a lot of us. That's all we can afford. <laughs> AIDS. Oh. I went on a, <laughs> Everything. I went on a carnival cruise. It was great. It doesn't matter what the fuck it you doesn't. say. There's it an doesn't. idiot out there. There's an idiot out there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what they would say. I'm proud of the Twitter voice uh, invention. I love the Twitter. It's one it's of my a, proudest fucking inventions. It's all I do when I read Twitter now is... 
<laughs> AIDS! <laughs> but it should be said. It should be said. Because I think people do have... Most, most, as far as my uh, my feed goes, my followers, most of them are beyond cool. Yeah, yeah. It's and these guys, the, these guys, uh, it's so obvious now. Yeah. How ridiculous uh, a very small percentage of these people are. <laughs> they look like idiots now. Uh. Oh, really, do we? <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> anyway, you were saying it's the worst cruise line. Yeah, yeah. It's I, I, I've just uh, heard horrible things about it. It's um, you, you get something like uh, Royal Caribbean. That's a yeah, good cruise line. Even Norwegian. I uh, enjoyed going on Norwegian. Norwegian's Royal Caribbean new ships are awesome. Yeah, Norwegian's got some crazy new I, ships. I saw one, and and I don't know if it was like they were fucking around with the commercial because a lot of times in my house the fucking audio's down because we're doing shit. It was a cruise line, and it looked like a, a a mini city with the buildings on the top. Bold. Were they just fucking with that for the commercial, or yeah, was that, that was for the commercial? Oh, oh it wasn't I, the actual cruise ship. No. Okay, because I was like, "What the fuck?" It looked like a mini version of, like, let's say, uh, Midtown Manhattan <laughs> with all the buildings. The big, yeah. the big thing to do with them now is the whole center of the ship is to look like Central Park. Yeah, yeah, they make these giant. Uh, Big walkways through the middle of the ship. And, and, and restaurants yeah, it's like and a mall. And then they also have interior balcony rooms Amazing. now. Where instead of having the room with the balcony on the outside of the ship, they're yeah. on the inside so you can look in at people walking around. Oh, that around. could be kind of cool. It's fucking just amazing, these things. That could Huge be hotels. Cool. Yeah. But the, the thing is. Those motors, <laughs> that runs the show. <laughs> those car those old Carnival ships. There was yeah. a period between the late 80s to early 90s where Carnival was doing a tie-in to sitcoms. So, like, the Oof. sitcom would go on a cruise. Oh, wow. Like, Growing Pains did uh, a couple episodes on a cruise ship. S one or two of those ships, I think until recently, were still, still active. Still active. And they're supposed yeah. to switch them up every, like, ten years. Yeah, they. if you don't modernize the ships, and you could tell, like, the ones that look like giant bricks placed on a boat, <laughs> they're just big square, they got no form to them. No, the, they, a lot of the European cruise lines look like that. Yeah, they're just terrible. Mm -hmm. uh, with, with the little tiny balconies on, on this just wall of, of rooms on the sides of the ship. Uh, what what makes the uh, Norwegian so amazing? I, I, well, Royal I, Caribbean and Norwegian, they're new ships. They, they they're newer ships. They're giant. They have all the modern uh, amenities. They're the biggest uh, ships in the world. Yeah, they're giant. Just fucking giant mm. ships. I think you if next time like the Epic or something that comes into Manhattan here, I think yeah. they allow you during that downtime on a Sunday or a Monday, you can get a visitor's pass to, really? to look around the lobby. Oh no, kids! Like that. Stole yeah. away. I gotta check it out now, Iraq. I. I, I'm a guy. I need to be out and about. Yeah. Would I feel claustrophobic on a cruise ship? Mm -hmm. I've never done one of these no over-the-top cruise ships. You think you need to do a million things when you go on a cruise it's ship, a but most of the time it's like there's all these activities and place to go. But in the morning, you just throw a towel down by the pool, and then you're just laying out there and drinking all day. Dude, they got all kinds of shit like like uh, to do, and it's a giant. You don't realize how big it is until you're. So you don't feel crowded. Actually, no. no, especially That's so weird. Especially and you don't even if feel you, the waves you use a little bit of your fucking cash. Right. That way, you get one of these rooms that are. It has their own area, their right. own little pool area, right. their own lounge area, the butler and piano. Yeah, the butler, <laughs> the piano. You don't just, have to go in the general population. I just can't wrap my head around it. And uh, then you're that, stopping at islands. You no, know. I know. But I can't wrap my head around the fact that all of this is in one boat on the water. It's crazy. I can't wrap it my really head around it. really does get you. When you think about it, you're just like, holy fuck, this is amazing. Uh, when, when you're taking a shower in some of those rooms, they got a giant window that just overlooks the ocean. And you shower, and, you're there, and then you turn around and realize, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm in a ship. That's so Not a, in a hotel. Yeah. And you can get really up early cool. in the morning. They got Starbucks or an equivalent to Starbucks on all these ships. I'm an early now. riser, yeah. Rock, so that would be oh. good for me. <laughs> I hope you'd be walking around the deck. That's right. Everybody Shooting else is coming out hungover. That's right. <laughs> Stupid! Is this a live read? <laughs> That's funny. Uh -huh. That would be good. We should get uh, fucking... Send this break off to Royal Caribbean. That's right. Let's get some free Norwegian. fucking trips for our listeners. Ah, let's go live. This used to be their big commercial. Yeah, I used to they like show them rock climbing. I used to love this song. Really? Yes. Man, they killed this song for me. Uh, Jeff in Orlando, what's up? Hey, so I, I, let me tell you a carnival story. A few years ago, 
uh, went on a uh, cruise out of uh, Cape Canaveral with my uh, my wife and kids and another couple of their kids. And first of all, we booked the sh- we, you know we booked the cruise a, a couple months beforehand, and we looked at pictures of the boat. <laughs> then we got there, and it turned out it was a Katrina refugee boat. So they removed all the all the decorations. So there was there was nothing on the walls. All you could see were sort of like the faded area on the carpet on the walls where there oh. were pictures. They took all the uh, sculptures out of the center of the boat because it was a refugee boat. So after we got, after we got on, they gave us hot dogs, which was great. And then uh, we went, you know, you did that that uh, practice uh, evacuation. Yeah, we did the practice. They did the practice evacuation. Then they actually evacuated the boat and put us in a parking lot for eight hours while they checked <laughs> while they checked the boat. For a possible bomb threat. <laughs> Sounds great. Why would they? Awesome. Why would they put you on a boat that was a refugee ship without, like, Cause it's, putting it back into service carnival. and redecorating it? It's carnival. What Did you, you get a refund or something? Oh yeah, we, we after the bomb threat, we got back on the boat, we got our bags and left, and and they gave a refund, and I got the feeling that they give a lot of refunds. Man, and they, were, they were really really good at it. This guy, there's so many cruise ship stories coming in. This guy, I don't have time, but he said um, <laughs> he went on a, a carnival ship when he was 16. Yeah. Then went again when he turned 30. It was the <laughs> exact same ship. <laughs> the same ship. Is that possible? That's what yeah, this guy is saying. Possible. you know, definitely right. possible. And then the other thing with the cruise ship that's having the problem and they're slowly getting it to Mobile, Alabama. Mm. Uh, they can't get in their rooms because no electricity. They can't use their electric keys. Their little electric key. There's no workaround for that. You'd think there, there is, but be. they'd have to make a duplicate for everybody. Well, too to fucking manual. bad. I, I would, I would, I swear, I would find something and I would break down the door to Dude, get into my own room. You, you'd have to imagine everyone, four thousand angry people, are trying to just do things, of course, and, and get uh, get answers. Imagine the crew must be flustered. You think they're like sequestered <laughs> deep in the ship somewhere? How's just hiding. Nowhere to be found. Right, yeah, just yeah. hiding. Just hiding. Don't, don't let them find us. We're here. <laughs> Could <laughs> be the one guy me. yelling, I need towels. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking towels, you bitch. You think there's a lot of yelling on a that ship right now? A lot of yelling. If you want a good video, that would be the time to do oh, it. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Some guy said he got phone calls from his uh, wife who was on the ship. And he goes, it's just the entire time, her and her girlfriends that he went with, that, that she went with, just crying on the oh, phone. She goes, every call, it's them crying. <laughs> so imagine all these women crying, men yelling for things. This is going to be uh, awful. Some lawsuits. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, let me. I was on the Norwegian. All right, let me. What the fuck? Uh, Dennis on Long Island. Dennis. Hey, what's going on, guys? Good morning. Boy. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I was on the Epic for my honeymoon, and we got on the ship that morning in Rome, and you can't possibly see everything. You know, there's the food. You, you get sick of buffet food after a while. There's like 12 restaurants, from French to yeah. Italian to a huge steakhouse. Dude, I never even went. I, I was on the Epic, and I never went to the actual place where you're supposed to eat dinner. Like the, their the big main dining hall. Main dining hall, yeah. Why? Yeah, you should have just to check it out. I went to all the restaurants. Oh. It's floor to ceiling in the back restaurant. The food was okay yeah. in that restaurant. We went there, but the bands that play there all night long. I, I mean, we spent five hours in the comedy bar during dueling pianos. During dueling pianos, yeah. Right. And and all you do is drink. They buy people drinks. It, it was amazing. And then one night, I ordered I ordered food from one of the restaurants to bring it to the room. They brought it like I was in the restaurant. They set up the table mm. like it was the restaurant and and had like a waiter. That would come to the room and, and wait on you. Oh, so uh, you go on that ship, everyone gets a waiter? No. <laughs> Enjoy your Twitter. Uh, Enjoy it. <laughs> if you're going to go on any cruise, they're Norwegian. They take care of your kids if you want. It's fair. It's so sure. Fun. Yeah. And you basically, uh, you're point, saying that you didn't see it. Right. You didn't see everything. Oh, forget about it. You, you can't. If you see everything, you're not getting off and doing any excursions. Wow. We did a couple. We had one complaint. They gave us our complete money back. And they, they accommodated us with, like, a voucher on the ship. And it was just, it was absolutely amazing. Yeah, Norwegian's I, fucking good, man. Yeah. The, the, the ship, I mean, we got a chance to see the breakaway, which is coming out of New York soon. And, and it, it's amazing. I, I had a, a balcony view. You, you can only imagine. Every day they come, they clean your room, fresh towels, a problem with Oh, towels. you should see what you do, what, what they do when you grease the guy 500 bucks the second you step on the ship. Oh. I gave my fucking butler 500 bucks. 
and mother that that guy couldn't be there enough. Wow. That was great. He would actually he would actually uh, come in and wipe the cum off of the uh, girl's back. Uh, it's amazing. He just <laughs> Jesus. I was I unfortunately I uh, let me tell you I had an I was my first cruise ever and I would definitely definitely I, I want to do another one tomorrow if I could get out of this cold weather mm. and go someplace Caribbean or tropical. It's ding, 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 right on, brother. Ding, Thank you. Ding, let me. Uh, uh, all right, let me hit up uh, Brent here. Brent, what's up? Oh, hey, Brent. Yeah, that <laughs> that uh, boat you were talking about that looked like the downtown Manhattan on it, that breakaway that the guy was just talking about, that's that ship. It's, I mean, it's so that is an actual ship? No. Norwegian no. breakaway. It's the best of New York City sailing to sea, so they just put that on the billboard. So yeah. it looks like yeah. the city. but Oh, okay. It's yeah, painted on the side of the boat. It's not actually on the boat, but yeah, that one's going to be sailing out. Yeah, but I mean, that's not too outrageous to think they would do that. At some point. Eventually, they're going to go too far, and the whole fucking thing is just going to sink to the bottom of the ocean <laughs> with 4,000 people in it. <laughs> oh, boy. How, how are they t testing all this shit out? It's, it's a amazing. water park on the boat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, a, not a slide, a park. That's amazing. The, yeah. the new Disney ships yeah. have these clear water tubes, so when you do the water slide, it shoots you off the ship. You go off the side, now you're just hanging over the ocean while in the tube, <laughs> and then it swings you back in an angle real fast where you come right back onto the ship <laughs> into the pool. I, I, I really do want to do one of these cruises. Yeah. Absolutely. The, the Epic has, cool. uh, has, like, um, has a bowling alley, has a yep. uh, bar that it's uh, always under 32 degrees. It's an ice bar. The ice bar. That fucking bowling alley is hilarious. I, I, I went on uh, went can't bowling. You bowl on a cruise ship. Yeah, well, I did. Especially if you take your bowling seriously. Dude, they got was, those stabilizers down. You know what's uh, fucked up? Oh, no, they, it they was, got it down? They, yeah, yeah, you never feel. But let me tell you something. One night, it was fucking rocking and oh, rolling. It it was so nasty out there. That even the sta even with the stabilizers, sometimes you get those nights, and it was rocking. We were hammered bowling, and uh, you could definitely see the ball. It was like, hey, I put a lot of English on that. It's uh, like, no, the boat just fucking rolled. No kidding. Uh, that way. But I, I, I always th think it's funny that on planes, you get the slightest bit of turbulence, and they're like, ladies and gentlemen, please return to your seats and fasten your seatbelts uh, uh, until the captain has turned off the... Bing, but on these ships... Bing. You're bouncing off the walls, and they're just like, drink and bowl. <laughs> Meanwhile, the, the boat's moving a lot more than planes do in uh, turbulence. Really? Yeah. Huh. It's great. I, I got to check. They have an outdoor movie theater now? And they have an outdoor yeah. movie theater and an ice bar. Yeah, the ice bar. The, the whole back of the ship is a huge pool, but it's also an amphitheater with a gigantic LED screen. Yeah, they put on shows so, back there, yeah, so they, you're outside. You're, is this Norwegian? Yeah, yeah, they do concerts All right. and movies. And <coughs> All right, someone who works for Nor Norwegian, I got to be set up nice. So mm -hmm. I want to go away in like three weeks. Is, yep. that, is that possible? Three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. In three is that weeks? possible? Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Especially in this economy. You can, uh, yeah, you think it's possible? Deals. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A good room? Whoa. I don't need the Kumia suite or anything, but something no, you, something, you, dude, dude. something in between would be nice. Don't yeah. go half-assed. No, you want a balcony. You get the giant fucking balcony room. How many Gs for the week? Uh, gee. I don't, I don't even. Know. I don't know what they charge for to, kids, though. I'm trying to think. So I, I'm thinking. I'll sneak my kids on the boat. That's easy. Oh, I is think, that just stow? Put them in yeah, your put them in your luggage. I'm oh, thinking yeah. 2,500. You can get everybody on mm. for the week. Could be a little, a little more expensive than that. Yeah, for for the Anthony Kumi experience. No, he doesn't want the Anthony room. Oh, you got to have yeah, the Anthony Kumi experience. Yeah, he doesn't want the Nagel experience. All right, let's get this done, Norwegian. I'm waiting for you. And I'm waiting for your phone call. He doesn't have the diamond status discounts. Well, I think I want to do one of these for real. It'll I did a week. And, I did a week and a half for seven grand. Yeah. Yeah, but you you that? had that one of two Fuck rooms yeah. that exist on There's that only ship. Only two of the rooms on the whole ship. Wait, I spend that going down to my spot in uh, Dude, believe in the me, Caribbean. It's well worth it. It's crazy. You're fucking yeah. in a room where there's hallways in your room. <laughs> there's doors and oh. hallways in your fucking room. It's crazy. And Justin Stengel, he, you know. He's just starting to listen today, obviously. He writes, there's a death boat out there right now. Why go on a boat? No, I, I got turned around on the whole thing because I'm listening saying. to these guys. You just don't want to take carnival. Yeah, Justin, <laughs> fucking rewind this show. This is how the break started. I'm like, why would anyone ever want to do this? But then yeah. these guys turned me on to the Norwegian, and I'm all in now. It's great. 
And knowing everyone else is like, fuck cruise ships for a while, I, I, I slide yep. in nice now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. Look <laughs> yeah, at those everyone rooms. Else is- is second guessing oh, and yeah, canceling, and you'll get some good deals. And I'll just fucking do the fucking a private villa. Oh, it's like and I'll Congo line there. my whole family right on. Yeah, fuck it. Yep, that's the private little area. <clears throat> I love it. All right. Um, so where are we at with the, with the ship? Is it getting close to Mobile finally? Yeah, I don't even know where it is now. It's still out there in the fucking Gulf. I think today's the day it comes in. They're yeah. in and this th- here, stench. hold on. Rebecca had called her mom about one one thirty on oh. Monday, and I could hear Rebecca talking to her mom, you know, just crying. <laughs> and I had my daughter just crying, you know, Mama, please just come get me. I want to come home. Just come get me, Mom. It's so hot. I'm so, I'm so hot. Like, come get me. Come see me. You know, I mean, it's just that devastating, you know, gut-wrenching cry. You know, you want to get to your daughter. Oh, we're just paralyzed. We cannot do anything. We can't get out there and That's rescue. Exactly we're waiting, what I was talking about. and we're at the discretion of when they come in and the weather and everybody who's trying to help. I'm so thankful everybody who's trying to bring them in. Mm. You know, I just we want them back. We want them home today. Oh my goodness! It must On be just land. terrible. Yeah. So <clears throat> we're getting word that it should be, and of course, as you know, these things change a lot. But sometime around 7:30, maybe 8 o'clock uh, this evening is when that that ship will oh, be coming in. I'm gonna want to hear in, some of the interviews of the people getting off. Oh God! Oh, that's gonna be great. Flu- cruise Load up on those Gary, sound clips for Gary, tomorrow. Uh, Can I fly <laughs> down? I, I will have my viral <laughs> video. Yes. Let me play that for you. Uh oh, what's this? The apology? Yeah. What a doodle! I think it's very important that I apologize to our guests, <laughs> this guy, and to their families that have been affected by this very difficult situation. <laughs> At Carnival, our promise to our guests is to provide a great vacation experience. <laughs> we try very Whoops. hard to do that. Well, all the you time. failed miserably. It's yeah. obvious in this particular case we did not deliver on that promise. Well, yeah, that might be the understatement oh of the year. What they've been offering, from what <laughs> we know, is a five hundred dollar per person compensation, oh, full refund geez. of the cruise-related travel, a bus ride, or a chartered flight. Uh, out of there, okay, and a, terrific. A fifteen to twenty-five percent discount on a what? future cruise. When you hear that apology and sort of the list of things uh, that they're offering yeah. for compensation, what's your reaction? Yeah, I'm. I'm I just stand and I'm just shaking my head. Why? Um, I cannot imagine that the um, the horror that they have had to deal with with no food, lines to go to the bathroom. Um, Seeing urine and feces sloshing in the hall, sleeping on the floor. <laughs> Nothing to eat. Five hundred dollars. What? Are, what are we? What's the emotional? What's the emotional cost? I can't put know, money on that. What is my twelve-year-old daughter seeing? What is, she, what <laughs> so, is she seeing? I don't you, understand. You know, as you're describing that, ladies, um, uh, Lou's on our, our panel this morning is saying that, that he's <laughs> curious to know if, if if you think your daughters are going to need counseling, and then who would, oh, who would underwrite that? I mean, only, I have on, to, as you only in America. Some of those yeah, of course. So a cruise long. gone wrong. What, what, the what kid needs counseling. Why is she alone on a fucking cruise? And will you try to get them someone to talk to? I swear to you. I would turn this into a good time for myself. Well, yeah, I'm not sure with a family, we but if I was if on there by oh, myself, just there by yourself, I, I, I swear I would have a good time because yeah. I'm living through something a little different. Know. Right? If they're laughing, we don't know if they're huddled up in a corner crying. And <laughs> they're probably <laughs> huddled crying. They're wanting to get off that boat. <laughs> we have no communication. That's what's lacking here. We're going to speak to our daughters. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to see their... Dem- all right. All kidding aside, I mean, it is a fucking horrific situation. Like, <laughs> yeah. like I don't understand how it got so bad where there's just feces in the hallway. <laughs> feces in They're urine. eating onion sandwiches. Like, what's going on with this company that oh, they're man. not prepared for? Like, this is pretty much a disaster for these families. Yeah, yeah. Why can't they figure it out? <laughs> there has to be some kind of system in place before it gets to the point where they're they're putting their feces in bags. I I have no idea why it got to and that you gotta point. you got to think they've run out of bags by now. Oh, they're just shitting over the side. There's probably been shit, Dude, like shit streaks down the balcony. It's gotten past that. Where <laughs> they probably tried at first to shit over the side. Now they're just shitting wherever they can. <laughs> you know, I if, take three dumps a day, and I'm not. <laughs> and I would continue with my dump schedule. If the hallways are full of shit, you might as well just go in the hallway and I'm take serious. a dump. But how does it get to that point? Oh no! How desperate is this company? And then they're only offering them a five hundred dollar voucher, and what? That's it. And this cruise is paid for. Hopefully, no. What they're, do you mean, no. they're offering you a five hundred dollar yeah. voucher, and then any travel to and from the cruise, travel uh, cruise related travel, they're offering you a refund on. Right. Um, but what do you mean? If, when, and then twenty percent off the next cruise or something. 
Wow. Yeah. Wow, they're fucked. This could this could sink the company. Who would want to who would want to go on one of their ships in any time? I think soon? the insurance takes care of it. Is yeah, it no, is. I understand, yeah. but but it's going to hurt future business. Yeah, it might. Why yeah, would they right. only do that? Why wouldn't they say, all right, obviously this, this fucking cruise, uh, we're refunding everybody. Yeah. We'll get you home for free, and then, then give them some money on top of that. I don't know. They probably assume that wouldn't be enough for people, and people would sue anyway, so they're just probably just yeah. waiting it out for the, the, uh, the lawsuits. lawsuits. Now, Victor. <laughs> Is this guy... Victor, Blackwell? Speak. Why isn't he talking? He's just hogging camera time. He's just standing there. We're obviously having some technical problems obviously. with his connection as he is in a mobile bay uh, on a, a boat. And we're waiting for the ship to, to come in uh, exactly that direction. But as we've been told, it'll be sometime around 7.30 this evening, 8 o'clock this oh evening Oh, my as well. God. I am watching TV tonight. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I want to see. That's, that's going to be great TV. I definitely want to see some of those fucking people bitching and complaining. Absolutely. Oh, wait, now we got a helicopter. Oh. That's right, Soledad. They're actually farther out than anticipated at this oh, hour. Boy. We're flying just south of the mouth of Mobile Bay, and we were expecting to see the ship in about an hour or so, Extinct but again, they're delayed. You have to keep in mind, they are moving at only eight knots, eight which knots. is basically nine miles per hour. It's a very <laughs> tough uh, job. They have four tugboats oh, basically Jesus. escorting this ship towards What do they usually do? 22, 23, 27 knots? Yeah. They're not expected to arrive here until later this evening. They can't even see the ship yet because they don't want to take the helicopter out that far? Is that what's going on? Maybe, yeah. from the port, which again... Oh my God, this is a great story. Oh, they are going to be some angry people. They're probably going to tell them, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please avoid speaking with the media when you leave the ship. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think oh, they're I, just throwing furniture and everything just uh, over the I'd be throwing shit over the side. I would be, uh, yeah. Clear my room out yeah. by throwing everything fuck yeah. over, over the side of the ship. <laughs> be hilarious. That's a great story. Uh, I can't wait Steve to hear as well. it. Thank you for that update. Let's get right to John Berman for a look at some other stories making news today. Right. Uh, thank That's you so much, Soledad. We are getting to hear from some of the victims who survived close encounters with fugitive ex-cop Christopher Dorner. In the mm. The Dorner, Dorner story, yes. He said that was funny. There's some jokes. He was celebrating Ash Wednesday. Yeah, that was the <laughs> obvious he, joke, though. Because he burnt. Mm. Yeah. Uh, somebody, somebody mad saying Mobile's a nice place to live. Relax. You know what? Heck, for the rest of the country, uh, Mobile is portrayed as a shithole. Well, so, so, you know. John in Mobile, Alabama. What's you got up? a bad rep, dude. Hey, Scott. Mobile is not a damn bad place to live. I grew up in Miami, and I live in Mobile now. And, uh, goddamn, everybody here drinks. It's a damn Catholic place more than uh, Baptist and all that shit. It's a port city. Dude, do you understand... That for the rest of the country that doesn't even really know the ins and outs of Mobile, that Mobile has the reputation of being a shitty city. Well, we just finished Mardi Gras. <laughs> He's trying to sell it. This guy's the Department of Tourism yeah. guy. <laughs> Why would you want more people living there? Yeah. Iraq? Comment? Uh, Does anybody remember that Mobile is where they saw the leprechaun? <laughs> right? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. We're going to find that for the break. Yeah, that's a little it. good example of Mobile. Yeah, we'll give you a nice example of Mobile, Alabama. Yeah. They got an we FYE. haven't played this in a while. What? They got an FYE in Mobile. No shit, sure, really? So. I still have a gift card for FYE. Well, <laughs> probably the last bucks. place where there's an actually an FYE in business. I'm wow. going to fly there just to use my gift card, I think. <laughs> I, I hate wasting gift cards. I really oh, do. yeah. That is a bad thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, Carnival is part of a big conglomeration. <laughs> oh, shut He's up. He's trying to sell Mobile. Right, we get it. Sorry. We took we took a shot at your area. Relax. Believe me, they're not going to come back in with the cruise ship and decide to spend the rest of their vacation in Mobile, Alabama. Well, I know that. That's good. <laughs> Good job defending your uh, city, though. I like how people get all uppity about their cities. It's nice. All right, well. Yeah, I'm going to go take a piss. Yeah, we got to take a break now. So. Yeah. And w do, did we find the Mobile, Alabama clip? Yeah, I have it. Nice. So this is Mobile, Alabama. Mike Francesa prank calls next. And Ooh, some other shit. Fun. 
Curiosity leads to large crowds in Mobile's Crichton community. Many of you bring binoculars, camcorders, even camera phones to take pictures. To me, it looked like a leprechaun to me. I got to do look up in the tree. Who else seen the leprechaun say yeah? yeah! Eyewitnesses say the leprechaun only comes out at night. If you shine a light in its direction, it suddenly disappears. This amateur sketch resembles what many of you say the leprechaun looks like. Others find it hard to believe and have come up with their own theories and explanations for the image. My theory is it's casting a shadow from the other limb. Could be a crackhead that got hold to the wrong stuff and it told him to get up in a tree and play a leprechaun. We're going to get down to the bottom of this. Yes, yeah, still on there, guy. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, man. This guy helping to direct traffic says he's prepared for his encounter with the leprechaun. He's suited up from head to toe. This wars off spells right here. This is a special leprechaun flute, which has been passed down from thousands of years ago from my great-great-grandfather, who was Irish. I just came to help out. Others just came to get lucky in hopes a pot of gold may be buried under this tree. I'm going to run a backhoe and uproot that tree. I want to know where the gold is. I want the gold. Give me the gold. The cruise ship is uh, finally back in port. Yes, it did uh, dock there in Mobile, Alabama last night. Uh, all the news crews were there. Well, CNN especially, they basically said there's nothing else happening in the world. Don't don't yeah. you people worry about anything else. Right. We, we need to cover the dumb cruise ship coming into Mobile, Alabama. Ooh, they yeah. spent, I think it was eight straight hours. Mm. Barely doing any other news as this thing was just chugging along at, at what, six to seven knots? Limping its way Limping into its a port, yeah. And then the, the tow rope broke. Oh, did it? I didn't see that part. Oh, yeah. The tow rope. And I, and I have a conspiracy ready. I'm not a conspiracy Ooh. guy. Well, let's, let's hear it. Well, if you're a carnival cruises, right? Yeah. And you got this fucking, this shit boat. Making its way to Mobile, Alabama. The shit boat. <laughs> and you got the news crews waiting, right? Yeah. Wouldn't you break the tow rope to make sure it docks a little later a little at night? A little later when, when people are sleeping right. so they can't watch the news and see how shitty it was? Uh, E-Rock was watching the coverage. I had to give up. When did that dumb thing hit uh, Mobile? Around 11, 1130? Um yeah, around eleven o'clock, it finally and, kicked in. And the tow rope broke, which uh, which uh, uh, threw a couple of extra hours on the whole uh -huh. process. And I'm like, man, I think that CEO said, "Fucking break that fucking tow rope." Bust the tow rope. We don't want this coming in and uh, during prime time. They're, they're showing it on the, the news over here. I'm watching. Uh, we got clips. And and what they're showing is a lot of passengers. Uh, coming off the boat, interviewing with the news, yeah. and they're smiling, they're laughing, they're talking about, uh, you know, they, it wasn't fun, it wasn't a, a cruise, that right. they, but they made do, they they made do do, right. they made do, they they had fun yeah. in, in some way, shapes, or form, and the news was so fucking pissed off yep. that they didn't have crying, uh, uh, horrifically uh, disappointed and sad passengers. When I was watching, I think it was Wolf Blitzer, because oh, the Wolf people Blitzer. from the ship were getting their phones charged. What's the situation? Room. It was in the Situation Room, and uh, they were getting their cell phones charged, so then they're finally making phone calls to the media, and Wolf Blitzer got one on. It's like, oh, man, and he, and he describes, like, there's sewage in the hallway, you know, sloshing around. Sloshing, a lot of sloshing. People are eating onion sandwiches and this and that, right, and the, and the smell, and he gets a guy on, and the guy's like, well, Wolf, tell you the truth, you know, it's not that bad. We're making do, and everyone's been cooperating right, come, and come working come together. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And you could see it in his eyes, like he wants to fire a producer so for, get, for getting the wrong person. Exactly. I, I he got that, someone that completely could, you know, handle the situation. Yeah. Iraq? I think that was the guy who said, yeah, I just had a crab sandwich and some lobster. Yes, they yes, op they yes, opened up yes, the dining room because yes. they needed to get rid of all the extra food. Yes, they had so dropped people off were a bunch of food. And Wolf's just kind of staring at the camera. Like, uh -huh, yeah. Wait, were they this feeding that food the whole time? No. No, I think they, they were held trying to on save to their, some stuff. They were trying to save their food. They helicoptered in some some food a few days ago, I guess. or A couple of days. A couple of days ago. Well, when it got down to where they were handing out onion sandwiches, when they know, yeah. when they knew, excuse me, they had lobster and fucking crab These sandwiches ready to go. Why were they not handing that stuff I, I don't know. They, they had really a helicopter it in. Oh. That, that's why they had that tent city. Wait, they had the, lobster helicopter in? in? yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, they were trying to make sure these people uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, were treated well so they don't sue. But they have the tent city going on. on you signed um, a contract. No, I know. I was going to yeah, say yeah. that as my...
A tent That's city was on the deck, and then they had to clear all the uh, tents off. People were making them out of the sheets from their beds and whatnot, and uh, setting up this little encampment area on the the deck of the the ship, yeah, the main deck. And um, I guess the helicopter had to come in, so they uh, had everyone clear their their sheets, so they uh, could deliver the, the lobster, off, <laughs> deliver the lobster, and uh, and all the good food. Uh, and yeah, people were eating fine. Um, yeah, you sign your life away when you uh, go on a cruise ship, but. I and there's know. maritime law too that uh, says that there's certain things you can sue for and you can't when you're at sea. But uh, yeah, it's weird. Fucking I, I, the, the, somebody will find a loophole. Yeah, in some. some you can't have a cruise ship point. going 500 miles off course and then slowly bring it back into port. It took what five days, four days to bring it back in. And the ships aren't flagged out of the United States either, so that you got to do it international Somebody laws. Will figure it out. It's very difficult yeah, to see these. Yeah, out so. of the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are they? Yeah. Is that why you think that's well? Oh, a lot of. Are, them to, I don't think any cruise line is in the United States. No, no. The last one was like Royal Caribbean's out of Norway. I think some ship that used to go to Hawaii or something was really? the last yeah. one. Out of uh, the United States. Oh, we're not in that business in the United States. No flagships out no of the United kidding. States. Uh, it's too expensive, uh, tax wise. We can't. It's too expensive and with then, the litigation. CNN yeah. loved pointing out that these people weren't um, the people that work on the ships. Don't have hourly pay. Don't have unions. Don't have the oh, yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, because yeah. they're not in the United States, and that's why the cruise lines don't base their headquarters. Yeah, in the United you know what States. it would cost? Oh, I see. Yeah. A ticket would be a lot more fucking money if it was based well, in the U.S. That's how fucked up this country has gotten. By the way. We we really have fucked you up know, everything. We've sent jobs overseas, and that we got to bring it back to America. Like you know what? The bottom line is making money. That's what companies yeah. want to do. And if uh, it takes going overseas to do it, because America's gotten so fucking greedy, I, I say yeah, bring back the sweatshops, is. man. Exactly. There's people that'll take those jobs. Love a good sweatshop. Yeah. Good yeah. Indonesian child workplace. Exactly. Iraq. You saw the coverage. Well, early on with the uh, with the people getting paid, CNN kept saying you're like these people don't make a lot of money. They work all these hours. They barely have a day off. But then later on, they had reports that these people work on these ships maybe 10 years, mm. go back to their home countries, and they're the equivalent of millionaires. Ah, they live like really? kings. Yeah, they yeah. make a ton of money from uh, from tips and everything else that they get working for 10 years straight. They retire, and they're done. I love how we protest and try to shut down these factories and all these places that these uh, third world nations uh, set up for people to work in. You know, they're not making the wages people make here in America. Sorry. But that's the way of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the only way they have to support themselves at all. And then these dumb Americans sit there and go, we have to shut that place down. We it's a, Now you're killing the people. Sure. You know, they're not making a lot of money, but it doesn't cost a lot of money to, to live where they're living. Yeah, they don't mind. No. And on the ships, they're not paying board. They're not paying food. They're, they right. got to work you know, really hard, but they're taking all that money that they get and they send it back yeah. home. Yeah, it doesn't go toward any real bills. No. Uh, we got some clips. Instead of uh, you trying to figure it out, watching a million news channels, we, we got all the good clips right here. Oh, we're your shitty cruise ship That's station. That's right. But, E-Rock, how was it when the boat finally docked? I, I wanted to stay up for it, but... I, I, I kind of was passing out right as the boat was coming in. Yeah. Because it was just going on too late. They showed a lot of people coming off the boat. There was a big, um, like, cheer that went off. Everyone was like, woo! Yeah. And you see people coming down the gangway. Apparently, they were all in robes, right? Uh, and they were speculating that it was cold in Mobile that night. And mm. I'm just thinking they that people figured they would take everything, <laughs> like, like take the fucking right. That's or, a nice robe. Fuck it, I'm taking the robe. Or, I'm I'm taking the towels. I'm taking this. Or they got shit pants on. Do you think they had their shit pants? They had duty stains in the back of their clothes. They must have stunk four days without a shower. No brushing your teeth. Just nothing. walking around in shit. What do you think the cruise line will do for these people? Anything? Nothing. Five hundred dollars. They're doing cash. dumb shit. They, yeah. were, they said five hundred dollars cash, twenty percent um, off of the next. Of the next cruise. Twenty cruise. plus plus the travel to go plus home. Plus the, the any related travel expenses. Plus they uh, paid for this cruise, right? They gave no. their money back. No, they didn't. What fucking cunts? No, they didn't. I, I thought they did. Wait, I, thought I thought I said they were saying they. I don't know. The and I didn't hear they you gave them a they refund. Have to. I think they no. stepped up and they. Uh, not as far as yesterday goes, they were not no. paying for this cruise. I think I heard that. I think I heard they they paid for the cruise and their expenses and mm. their and their how they're going to get home, and oh, five hundred dollars right. and twenty percent off. On that the must next have been cruise. something. I new. think let's that look it up. Yesterday they were not paying for the entire cruise. Wouldn't that be the a 20... disastrous bit of fucking PR if they didn't it pay could, for the Puerto Ricans? Yes. Oh well, the disaster PR is the fact that we all know that that ship was filled with shit. 
<laughs> Some people you know might I mean? have liked it. Imagine it was a scat lover's cruise. <laughs> yeah. and it's just that they loved it. <laughs> this is the greatest weekend. <laughs> going on another one of these. Yeah, some shit fan actually went and started the fire because <laughs> yeah. he wanted his wife to have to shit in his face. <laughs> <laughs> they were also having a problem, too, because in the afternoon, um, especially when the tow rope broke, they wanted to speak to a carnival representative. They wanted the CEO. They sent the, the, like, the senior vice president of marketing. So he oh, was boy. the guy speaking. And the CEO didn't start speaking until uh, real uh, late. Yeah, real late. The, the, the clip th that CNN keeps showing over and over. That's I, when he finally showed up. And, and, and I think that was on it. I was still up. I think it was eight eight thirty at night. He finally uh, showed his face. Yeah, but all day and the previous yeah. days, no word from yeah. him. And he'd send other people from the company to speak instead. So of him. was it a Scott? Was it a the who was it? The Scott Greenstein, the Steve Blatter, the Radio Wizard. Like who? Who in co uh, a comparison to here? I don't was know it. the other sp uh, the other speakers they sent out, but I know yesterday they had the guy who's in charge of marketing was speaking, and they're like, "Where's the CEO?" And he didn't show up. Oh wow! Like, so that's like 8, who? Is that night. like Rob Cross? Mm, no, Rob Cross is still an intern. Did they did they bring Rob Cross out? No, to talk? The, it no, would have been the person no. who doesn't put us in the uh, in the circulars and all the commercials. Oh my and god! Oh god! That's the equivalent. Yeah. So it wasn't even Yeesh. middle management, really. Wow! Management that has Terrible. nothing to do with ex Yikes. directly dealing with us. Did you find out what these people get, Sam Roberts? Yeah, I think they do. I think you were right. They get their, they do get a refund. Oh, and then the trip's paid for. Wow, twenty percent off and five hundred bucks. The twenty percent off is a joke because most of these people will not uh, do another cruise anytime soon. Especially not with some that. will. At, not with obviously, Carnival. I bet you less than twenty percent will actually uh, go on another cruise in the near future for the next couple of years. Look, look, the people that are like. They're smiling. Yeah. They're off the boat. They're like, uh, yay. You know what? They have a great little adventure story they're going to tell yeah. over and over again to family and friends. That's a cruise you want to hear about. Like, you don't yes. give a fuck. How was your cruise? Mm. Oh, it was great. We danced. We ate the buck. Good food. Plenty <laughs> of it. Good friends. Yes. Would you we have, made good friends. Would you have handled it? I would have I would yeah. have, I would have had a good time with it. Yes. I know it would have been you know, kind of uh, hard at times, but like when I was down in the Outer Banks and that hurricane was coming, me and my brother wanted to stay. Badly, because it's different. It's, you know what I mean. You're experiencing yeah. something. I would, I would have kind of had a had a good time with that. Not for five days, man. I'm, I'm five fucking days would have been a little rough, huh? Comfort lover. I want to plug <laughs> shit in. Right, I want my right. AC. All I would have been doing is just my my OCD would have been just kicking in, going my fucking vacation's ruined. Oh yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have had a meltdown. <laughs> and you had to wait hours for anything. Three right. and a half hours just to eat. That would have been the thing that so got basically, me the most. I hate waiting. That <laughs> means basically you eat and then get back online yeah. <laughs> yeah. for yeah. your next meal. And they see yeah. the robes they were giving out because they were in, you know, wherever they were. Right. And then they get to mobile, and as they're getting closer... It's getting colder. It's freezing cold, so all they did, they handed out some robes to Mobile, people. Alabama? Mobile. mobile. It's called Mobile. I don't know why. Going it's not mobile. mobile. Anyone? <laughs> Could they have done anything better for them or no? Is that it? No. They don't want to. No, 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 on the sea. On the ocean. Oh, I'm, they they said they uh, were treated well, as as best as they could, uh, you know, accommodate. These they people. said that the crew did yeah. like an amazing job right. at, at trying to do the the best that they could possibly do. No one had complaints about the crew. It was, it was you know, it was a fucking mechanical a fire. Problem. Yeah, fire is one yeah. thing. People can understand a fire. Yeah, you, you think, fire. You think the crew had a generator somewhere in the ship and were living large? Yeah, I think they delivered a generator too with the food. They they, uh, they dropped in some. My my problem. Problem is power. with this whole thing, they they took way too long to kind of react to the situation. Yeah, it seemed that the way. The food they only uh, helicoptered in a couple days ago. Yeah, I mean, why weren't they right on it right away? I don't know. Why why was the ship allowed to go five hundred miles off course? That's a lot of fucking miles. Could they have gotten them into a, a closer port and on another ship, or could is there anything they could have done that they just didn't do I to think save that was money? The closest port, they were oh, no, they, the Gulf. They had. When it first hit, they were they were going to send them to um, uh, another port to answer your question. But then, then uh, the boat started floating away from that port, making it harder. So I think they, they were trying on to mobile. They were trying to fix it uh, while it was drifting, and hoping that the media wouldn't find out. <laughs> Oops. Look at this! Everyone's smiling and laughing. Oh, they're all in their robes, clapping and having a good time. Yeah, look at them. But the news were they were hoping they have bed sheets with little signs written on them, uh, draped over the side of the ship. They're they're having a pisser and well, a shitter. How many of those bars? <laughs> do you think, how many of those bars do you think are still intact? Oh man, right? I think they broke into everything. They, I think they did. Yeah, they just broke it. Did they got, start breaking into shit? Booze and foot. Yeah, I'm sure it was fucking like anarchy. I would, I would love <laughs> I, to I take would. a tour of the ship. Look at the. They're showing bedding out in the hallways. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, they Tent said city. The, the toilets were overflowing in the rooms, so the rooms themselves were really stinking, and uh, uh, people were going out into the hallway. All those mattresses how that the they're showing were stained. Some the of them were are, shit. How the fuck are they going to clean that? I mean, that shit is going <sighs> to go into every nook and cranny. Uh, they got to clean that shit up. How? I don't know. Going to have to rip up every carpet. Carpet. Bring in the, bring in the wolf. Bring in the wolf. Now, sop up all those pieces of shit and piss. <laughs> you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but... <laughs> Why don't we play some clips? we got the Carnival CEO. He finally talked uh, pretty late yesterday. Yeah. In the day. First, let me say just how thankful and relieved I am to see the Carnival Triumph tying up alongside here mm -hmm. and knowing that all of our guests and our crew members guests. have made it here safely. I know this is what our guests have been waiting for and i can tell you Listen this is what all we all at carnival have Woo! been working towards now there's been a tremendous <laughs> amount of effort oh, shit that's gone pissed. in <laughs> getting this ship back here shit and there's so many people i want to thank for helping us in this regard <laughs> but i would like to specifically mention the united states coast guard who's done a fantastic job having that cutter alongside was tremendously helpful in reassuring our guests the united states customs and border protection who's expedited the clearing, United States Public Health, and the city of Mobile, and the port of Mobile, have all been very gracious and helpful to us, and I thank everyone. But I'd also like to recognize the tremendous effort made by our shoreside teams in Miami and around the country, and mostly Start playing the music from the board. Oscars. Boring. <laughs> I know it has been very trying for our guests, fuck off the stage but I can music. tell you that our crew worked Be more tirelessly funny. to try and make it as good of an experience as they possibly could for our guests. Yeah. I want to thank them very much. Oh. That's uh, that's some of that babble, babble, babble that's, crap. Yeah, babble, yeah. Babble, babble, I want to know who the babble, comedian babble, was babble. on that ship. Oh, shit. Who was the cruise comic on oh, that ship? Yeah. He's got some fucking material. Yeah. Yeah. Was he doing sets, though? Uh, no, no microphone. But impromptu sets, I don't oh. know. Out on the deck. That's who I want to find out. Who is the Carnival Cruise Ship comic? Uh, so where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> uh. yeah. The fucking fire was actually a couple audience members trying to commit suicide. <laughs> He's doing crowd work again. Uh, so. <laughs> More from the CEO of Carnival Cruises. One of the nice things that for me is to see that many of our guests in online media and other types of media have recognized just how hard our crew has worked. And I appreciate the patience party of our on. guests it's a party. and their ability to cope with the situation. And I'd like to reiterate Aww. the apology I made earlier. I know the conditions on board were very poor. I know it was very difficult. Do and you? I want to apologize again for Bottle subjecting doodle. our guests to that. We pride ourselves in providing our guests with a great vacation experience. Well, and clearly, we failed in this particular case. <laughs> Epic fail. It's kind of weird to hear a guy, you know, admitting anything. Saying yeah. it was failure. Yeah, they failed All right, in I'm their up. mission. We kind of uh, respect that. But as he's admitting failure, he's making sure that he takes lots of time to point out all the things they did well. Well. Right. How great the crew was. The crew, and... you know, it's nice to see the Triumph come into port with the all of our guests safe and sound. Mm -hmm. The crew was uh, remarkable, and yeah, we get it. People fire, though. People forgive fire. Because they know what, what, when it comes to fire, just fucking wrecks everything. Yeah, yeah. People don't for, forgive anything. And back in they're, the day, they're gonna remember that the smell of someone else's oh, yeah. shit. Mm. But I mean, the fact that it's a fire Yummy. makes it easier to swallow. Yeah, back in the day, that would have uh, like killed people. Yeah, <laughs> the ship would have sank. You wow. know, they 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 figure that stuff out. Where uh, mm. it's very hard to sink a cruise ship these days. There can be a fire on it. And yeah, it's still floating yeah, there can be a the fire uh, that that shuts down the the engines. And uh, it's still floating. Right. You know, you have some shit to contend with, but eh, they're dropping fucking lobster off to you. You think someone's so fired? Uh, I don't know. That's uh, Well, uh, they'll figure out what, what caused the fire. Right. And they'll fire the guy that fired the fire fire. Of course. Here's more from the CEO. Last clip, because this guy's boring. Oh, yeah. And then we'll get into some other shit. It's a dull Now, there's one other thing. Um, I know we have been making media updates as we've gone throughout the course of the day providing the status of what's going on with the ship and all it's our plan to continue those we will continue those past the last guests getting off the ship and starting on their way home we know that we have gotten our guests back to land now we need to get them home and we have 
the full resources of Carnival are working from here to get them home as quickly as we possibly can. Now, the most important thing for me at this point in time is to go on board and to apologize to our guests. Once I finish that, I'm going to walk around and I'm going to try and help to expedite the process right. of getting them off and getting them on their way as quickly as I can. Then I'm going to try. So right now, home. that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go <laughs> on board to get and I'm some going to apologize gas. to the guests. Is he going to apologize? Much. Yeah, to every guest. And I heard they were putting them on buses and driving them to New Orleans or something. Was that true? I heard it was like a two-hour wow. bus, bus ride. Yeah, they needed a bigger airport with the more super options. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> drop them off. They needed more more uh, options for where people are going to go. But imagine boarding a bus for for two hours now. Yeah, and then finally getting into that hotel room and taking that hot shower. Ah, uh, first thing I would do is brush my teeth. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I wonder if somebody went into like the bus bathroom and took a bad shit and stunk <laughs> the whole bus out. <laughs> How bad would that be? The people are like Jesus Christ. Yeah. Can't get away from this guy. <laughs> they make a rule on the bus. <laughs> No Look, dumps. people, no more shitting. <laughs> yeah, enough with the We've shitting. We've all had it. Hold <laughs> big, your duties. Big, nice fucking lobster and <laughs> onion sandwich <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. Nice crab cake dump. <laughs> crab cake and what? fucking warm milk dump. <laughs> What's worse than a crab cake dump? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um. Yeah, and everyone must have had horrendous breath. They're hanging oh, out onion yeah. sandwiches, yeah. and you can't brush your teeth uh, for four days. Oh wow! Loud shits, and you know how a loud shit must sound in a bag. <laughs> 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 you fucking you gonna have your wife hold a bag while you? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, could you hold the bag? Yeah, you're supposed to be on a conga line right now. Come on, you hold. You're getting it on my knuckles. <laughs> 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 Just those loud, awful ones. They're doing a conga line with a, one person conga the other behind him with a bag. They're all just shitting on the deck. <laughs> My asshole's hot, hot, hot. <laughs> <laughs> That would be wonderful. There's a bit for you. Um, guy talks about the isolation on the ship. Ooh. Oh, what's that? Oh, no, let's do this one first. Young girl and mom meet up with her, Younger. with their family, and say Carvel had them take down their tent city before helicopters got there. Oh. Oh, that, well, that was what you were explaining. Oh, yeah. They had to land the fucking helicopter somewhere. Yeah, what are you doing? And you look like you got a little fun. <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm, I'm probably... <laughs> Feeling and, no, you, know, you look healthy and, and, and rosy cheeks and wonderful. Thank you. I guess people did spend a lot of time outdoors, didn't they? Oh, we, yeah. we had to, yes, sir. Yeah, and but, except for the the last day, you know, it got so cold uh, mm. that you know everybody was out. I know you really couldn't tell probably from the ship or the air, helicopters or whatever that were coming over today. But before that, I mean, it was just tent city. I don't know if y'all probably remember what the Superdome looked like in Katrina. Well, well that's what the deck looked like. Slow the deck. It was it was just unbelievable, but they asked us to take them all down when the helicopter started making deliveries, and um, so we did that, and uh, they straightened everything up, and so it looks kind of tidy right now, but that was not the way it was, and uh, it was so unfortunate for those that had their beds and everything out there because we ran into rain, and they had no warning, and they all got soaked, so it was really sad. Oh, so, wow. Well, welcome you, back, and thank you. That wow. sucks your beds out there. Yeah. yeah, I mean, people must have been trying to fumble back down the steps with mattresses <laughs> into their fucking their duty chambers. <laughs> you try to lug a mattress into a fucking shit chamber. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> Your sheets are soaked. Oh, this fucking rolls. I want to oh, hear more boy. about the. I want to hear more about the duty. Uh, Duty chamber. Yeah. Oh boy, a duty ship. <laughs> Puts the whole boat on his head. <laughs> and then never ship. gets a job. <laughs> and ever then bitches again. about it. And then bitches about us. Uh, fuck you. Ungrateful fuck. <laughs> Cocksucker. We taught you the, the uh, shit hand. <laughs> Anyway, that's dude. You're fucking that's that hilarious. shit in your room. I just want to hear about that shit. But you go outside to get some fresh air. Yeah. You put your bed out. You know what? You're like, you know what? We'll live with it. Yeah. I'm putting the sheet up so nothing bugs don't sure. get on you. Nice uh, breeze coming off the ocean. Temperatures nice. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fucking rain. What is that? 
Oh, it's rain. You and your fat wife are trying to futz your mattress back uh, down steps. There's a line of people. Uh, hold it. F- put your end up. 40, Throw up. 40 minutes in the rain with your mattress up. Oh, oh, you're only on the cruise with your wife to try to save your marriage, and now you have to deal with the, the shit ship. Yeah. Her cunt is stinking up the room again. <laughs> Just like home. <laughs> Fucking onion breath. I wonder, if, I wonder if people were having sex on the ship. Oh, First sure. night, yeah, by day five, yeah. we probably just jerk off and look at each other across uh, the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just smelling. The guy's breath smells like his bag. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm an armpit fan, though. I probably would have enjoyed oh, it. Oh, yeah. yeah, You would have been in heaven. They were probably brushing their teeth, actually, with bottled water. They probably were. Uh, yeah. A lot of these people said they couldn't brush their teeth for four or That's five days. That's crazy. You could use anything. Well, like, I don't know how much water they had. They were probably rationing all that shit out, use I would them. assume. Use the shit in the mini bar. Yeah. Here's a guy talking about the isolation on the ship. It's, you know, really one of those classic experiments where you take a population, you isolate them, you take away just about every modern convenience, and then you work to see whether they, you know, the good human agent rises to the top or fails. In that experiment that you just went through, what would you say happened? Uh, you know, it, I think you, you hit on the head. It's like, you know, you're taking, it's not being be connected with the outside world because we felt, you know, really when the first day uh, of the, you know, the day of the fire, and it was, you know, we had later in the day, there was like, okay, there's going to be a sister ship coming. And that? drop provisions, um, and we were like, "Oh, well, well they're going to have Wi-Fi on there, so maybe we can get out because our communications pretty much were, were cut off. That you know, right. we could get on the boat. So you know, the, sh- the, the ship came closer, and we're like, "Hey, we're getting signaled. You getting out? You getting out?" So people were giving each other cell phones. Hey, I can't get out, but I have whatever carrier, and uh, be able to get through to, to loved ones. And so that was awesome. And then obviously the next day we were, we were able to get two more uh, uh, provisions dropped from other ships, and I think that. That kind of really kept people's spirits up, but you know there was the three three days where we had zero communication. So I think people were getting a little antsy because they wanted to just hey want to talk to your loved ones and let you know how we're doing. And wow, three days without a cell phone. That's why I bring uh, my satellite phone with me. There you would, go. That, would, nothing would, ever happens, but uh, you know I yeah. always bring my sat phone. People would have been fighting over your oh, satellite phone. They'd have been chasing <laughs> me all over the fucking deck, <laughs> and you would have been screaming, "Leave me alone! Get away from me! My phone!" <laughs> A hundred bucks a call. Would you be my phone guy? Oh, I would be. I'd be that guy. You would be climbing on a pole somewhere. Get away. Just to get away from people. And I'd just be calling like into Ron and Fez. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what's up? No important calls, just fucking, you know, chatting. Well, the power might have been the problem. You couldn't charge their phone. No, they uh, had charging stations. Yeah. Near the elevator banks, I believe. Oh. So why did they have power? Because of the reception? Uh, yeah, they just didn't have uh, any signal out oh. in the middle of the... the no, no, and, and they did lose power. Yeah. They, but And then they had to recharge their phones, but they couldn't recharge everyone's phones. And they didn't have a signal. Like, they didn't have a signal yeah, for a while. Yeah, they didn't have a signal. Is there something that catches days. a signal on the boat that's... Uh, a little bounceroo, yeah. They have Wi-Fi yeah. out there, so it goes to a satellite. Yeah, you so can you're bounce able that to, shit. Uh, yeah, you're able to use that as um, uh, to send messages out and whatnot. And you could use their phones. Right. You know, there are phones in the rooms, but it's all satellite. Yeah. When that goes down, yeah, you're fucked. Here's the guy talking about the fire that started this whole mess. Were you oh. ever worried or afraid? I mean, there's a fire on the ship. and Because, I mean, we, we well, heard about how it was listing. I mean, there had to be moments where you said, I'm, I'm vulnerable out here. Did you never feel that way? I, yeah, I mean, a little bit. You know, like I said, I, I, my personality is I take things in stride. I don't, you know, I don't want to worry too what much, but I don't want to get overexcited. But, you know, what I do remember is when you're on... Going through the you know the muster station drills and just muster. safety procedures, and they're talking about well, you know the worst thing that can happen on a ship is a fire, and you're like, yeah, well that's not going to happen. Yeah. And then of course you know you you're woken up at 5:30 a.m. by the captain saying Alpha Team, and you're putting two and two together, and then you smell smoke, and so yeah, that that was a little unnerving. So I, I think at that point you're like, we are out here in the Gulf, and you know there's nothing out here, you know, and, and that was that was a little little scary. We were dead in the water. I mean for the you know. No way on the south to put it. So the- I'll just jump in the water with something. Yeah, don't worry about it. Swim, swim back. Oh man, mm-hmm. the space rock is 150 feet wide. That's the one that's going to pass near Earth. Right. Oh, that's not nearly as big no. as I thought. That's no. not a couple football fields. I'm, I'm gonna, we should try to get. Oh, uh, Bill Nye. 
about because Science when we were guy. talking to somebody in Moscow, they said uh, the communications went down. Cell phone communication went down. They were not certain if it was a meteor or if it was the number of people that were getting on their cell phones to try to call their loved ones. Yeah, hey, look at this. This one, DA-14, 2012 DA-14, no, absolutely no way it's going to hit us. No way. Oh, sure. It will not hit any of our satellites. Oh, Just how do you know? Very, very, sure. very unlikely. Oh. Apparently, uh, there is news. a spent rocket fuselage oh. that may have been a military rocket years ago that it's going to come within 100 kilometers of 60 miles of. But that even that's a miss. The whole thing, everybody, is we don't know how many more of these objects are out there. Oh, boy. And if one of them hits a city or hits anything, it's going to destroy it. Just hey. destroy it. And so this is a warning shot for us humans to watch the sky. Now, if we had enough warning, if we had several years warning, uh -huh. we could easily, or easily, we could do something about it. We, we have the spacecraft technology, the spacefaring nations of the world could slow it down or speed it up just ever so slightly and it would miss us and there's science fiction stories about asteroids and so on but what? they're based in fact Which one's oh that? and this is something for everybody to yeah. think about the well, timing I mean, of this was really thing. they have to really, drill really scary um, it's kind of cool in the middle <laughs> of <laughs> well, scary but it's <laughs> to also you it's cool to us it's, it's an a opportunity yeah, well, well we're really no, happy that they are. No, it's it's cool for everyone. Yeah, don't worry, the, Soledad. Yeah, the news makes it scary. Uh, Michu oh. Kaku is going to be on Channel Two CBS. Ah. Maybe we could maybe we could get him on our show today. I, ah. I texted Travis. We're working on it. Oh, we yeah. are working on it. Good. Yeah. Oh, hi. Ah. I, I try to introduce him to my son. Uh, how'd that work? Ah. Ah. Okay. Ah. That's what I got. Okay. I got to Kaku. Ah. And then he crossed the street and started like double timing it. <laughs> He's the weirdest he is the worst. He is a scaredy cat. He lives in Jimmy's building, lives right next door to me. I see him all the time, and every yeah. time I try to say hi to him, it's like the first time he's, he's meeting me. He's yeah. a scared. <laughs> oh, he's so scared. Hi, how are you? Hi, okay. Uh, <laughs> don't <laughs> hurt me. That's, That's why his hair is so white. Hurt me. He's yeah. actually 24 years old. Uh, hi, uh, we've met 40 uh, times. Uh, <laughs> Oh, you are an apparition. <laughs> a ghost. It's unbelievable. He is a scaredy cat. Anyway, um, this is my favorite clip coming up because, uh, you know, we all know uh, the news loves to fucking pump shit up. Oh, uh, yeah. They're all about pumping shit up, oh, right? Oh, yeah. And uh, I believe this guy uh, gave the news a, a bit of a face, right? Yeah. A little bit of a face uh -huh. to the oh. news. So. And the isolation factor you described, this is the same sort of thing many people who went through Katrina in New Orleans, others that were left behind. They never heard anything either. And it's, your Trina. mind begins to race. You wonder if anybody knows of the circumstance you're in. You think you're all alone. And, of course, any rumor becomes solid fact. And it spreads in a very closed environment. So I imagine it's something very similar. Yeah, but, you know, let's put that in perspective. I mean, Katrina was uh, a major devastation. Uh. We're on a freaking cruise ship, and we're just out having a good time. So... You know, from that, that angle, I, I, and I get it because it is this isolation of communication, but two different things, you know, two different things. Ah, I'm nice. I'm so proud of people because they're starting yes. to figure it all out. Like, enough yes. of your shit. It's Good. not like Katrina. The guy's trying to equate it with fucking Katrina. And, and it, it, the guy said, look, we're on a freaking cruise, cruise ship. More and more people are figuring it out. Thank God. Sorry, you know, we're we're out there on the Lido deck having daiquiris. Right. We're not in our attic right. as water's creeping up and having to cut a hole in the roof. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> you know, that's a little different. Hoping you could even cut a hole in the yeah, roof. Yeah. Some of those people weren't able to do that. Yeah. And that's how they met their fucking maker. A little different. If there is a maker. Oh. Yes. Well, here's some ladies talking about their horrible experience. This oh. is, these are the ladies that the news keeps showing. Right, ladies. because they finally found one. Yeah, these are the old biddies that got off the boat and were all pissed off about everything. Oh, good. This yeah. is exactly what they were looking for. Then. So, the, and if you watch this morning, these are the ladies that... They were showing over and over again? Yeah. They're the stars. Yeah. But the fact is, most people were okay. Just okay with, the, yeah. with, happen, with yeah. what happened, right? Yeah. So this is kind of an exception. Oh, yeah, yeah, of yeah. All the clips I watched. And then what the news yeah. does, they take the exception and then they slam it down your fucking throat all day long. We we are glad to be on dry land. Our, our, it's just been an, a horrible experience for us. Uh, it was a great cruise to start off with, but it just, you know, the morning of, of Sunday morning the fire, at uh, it was, was a fire just, alarm. Oh, and and uh, we've been kept in the dark a lot. Mm -hmm. We oh. haven't been told everything that we probably should have known. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it was just, you know, the... the, the That's because you just... 
things just kept getting worse and worse and we could never ever really get a straight answer. The bathroom facilities were horrible. We couldn't flush toilets. Uh, no electricity. No electricity. No Our rooms no were in air. total darkness. We had no air. Horrible. And we had, um, it was, it's just been a really, really yeah. taxing experience very, very for us. Oh, no we're, lights, no motor cars, I mean, not a single a luxury. people on this ship right I'm now. Sure. Robin Fucking hens. Show. Yeah. Primitive as can be. Just right. babbling. Hens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we didn't have toilets to flush. Yeah. It was terrible. Well, they continue here. Oh. I don't, honestly, I don't think this ship should have ever sailed out. That, how and know? how do you know that? How do you know? <laughs> and uh, please tell me how you know mechanic. that. Please tell me how you know that. Yeah. I inspected the engines before it left, and there seemed to be an anomaly. Certainly in hindsight, but how do you, you dumb bitch, know that for sure? Yakety yak. I think there's, you know, issues with it, and I I think it should have probably stayed in dock. Uh Oh. Uh, it's an old ship. It's, it's been around for a long 1999, time. I, I, yeah. I believe. Now, the, the CEO, Jerry Cahill, is Party here. Like I don't it. know if you know that. Yeah, he came on and he well, apologized. Well, is that is that enough? Are you... No. Oh, no. 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 Uh, there, no. There, are, there are a lot of unhappy people on this ship. A lot of unhappy yeah. people. Mm-hmm. Because of the conditions and, and the way things just went downhill from the first day. Downhill, it's and water. Then, you know, it's we level. couldn't... We, we floated no for over 100 miles. Somewhere around 100 yeah. miles. Yeah. For a whole yeah. day, they were assessing the situation from... Sunday morning at 5.30 to probably, I guess, midnight, midnight. that night. Yes. They still yeah. did not know mm-hmm. because they could not open the fire, yeah. the engine room where the fire took place. Yeah, gosh. And so we were just mm-hmm. floating, and they said we floated out to sea about 100 yes. miles. I heard 500, but... Wasn't it 500? That's what I heard, too. But these, I mean, these are you obviously... Get, you take it from these yentas, mm. these hens. Buck, 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 buck. Shut it. Did they get anything right? I'm noticing you both have... Th- these are the robes Robe, from the rooms? So right. Cold. Yes. It got so oh, because cold. it got I so cold. You, yes. you, were, you didn't have a coat. Well, we, no. We, we were in no. off-coast right. mail. <laughs> you know, it got right. so cold. And then our rooms got were so uncomfortable. Right. As we kept getting closer and closer to mm-hmm. the... I guess uh, Alabama, we got just got colder. Got we cold. couldn't leave our door open for fresh air. The hallways were toxic, full <laughs> of urine. Our bathrooms were full of urine. The, our showers I think were. The worst part horrible. of this whole thing uh, to me mm-hmm. was that. I don't think they had a backup plan of any kind for this type of situation. They did. And that's what it's a what lot of people did. started realizing. They were, they, it looked like they were just trying to figure it out as they were going. And then they'd figure something out and then they'd change their mind. And then they'd try to figure yeah. something else Kept out. And it was a just, lot of mixed messages. Yeah, it was yeah, never true. like, this is the plan. Oh, I Honestly, women. I don't think there was a backup plan. Shut up. Yeah, th- they bother me, but they're probably, you know, speaking some truths there. Mm, yeah, It I'm seems sure, like the, but, you know, the crew's... Jesus. Uh, line there didn't know what the fuck they were doing. But how unpleasant would those women have been? Oh on board? my god! The Can you imagine they're your time. neighbors they're the ones, as you're trying to shit yes. in your bathtub? You hear uh, them? They're the ones that bitch at a perfect cruise. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, there wasn't enough food. I went to the buffet and they were all out of the crab meat there was no- before <laughs> I got there. And I ah, oh, just bitching, <laughs> bitching. There was no butter at breakfast this yes. morning. Yes. <laughs> yes, they didn't bring the butter. <laughs> Oh, God. They, the fruit basket, the peaches were overripe. Like, everything's a problem with them. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's, but I would, I would be that. That's how would I would. Yeah. Oh. You would be out of your mind? Why was this boat let to go? They knew this would happen. Uh, that's true. Oh, please. We've seen Jimmy go off. Five days of shitting into my own tub, but I yeah. want to have a nice vacation? I would I would get all the shit in the tub, absolutely. Oh, and I'd be cranky. You can't use the tub anymore. Shit. Well, apparently the uh, all the drains in the rooms uh, yeah. were backing up. Really? You know? Yeah. Once those pumps go out, I guess uh, the the the, right, the put a towel under the door. Or the something. sewage goes so, through wow. the the drains back up. Yeah. Yeah. There's like piss all over the floors of nice. the bathrooms. Mm. Hey. Well, shit. Shit coming up. Like through the drains, like a Play Doh fun yeah. factory. Yeah. Just fucking. <laughs> the shit that comes out of those women. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I had ordered some prunes, <laughs> and it made for a loose stool. Yeah. Uh, One of them doesn't even know it, but she's taking cancer shits and (laughs) fucking wrecking the whole hallway. (laughs) She has no idea. Oh, God. (laughs) She's fucking ruining Uh, everyone's trip. You think Carnival uh, Cruise will have to change their name? 
Uh, they're going to be known as the, the, the shit. Shit crews. The shit crews. Every every cruise line's had their fucking problems. Issues. This is a big oh, one, though. Like they're showing the red biohazard bags all over the fucking ship. Aren't they the ones uh, that had the ship turn over in Italy, too? Yeah. No. That was... Uh, no, nah, that was... Oh. Yeah, that was... But then... They had something happen. That was the Italian cruise line. Yeah. But I heard they had another big... Well, they had another... That. They had another... I, I don't know if engine failure last year. What the hell is that? Uh, I think that's what it was. scaring me. It looks... What? It's what? a bowl of Nissan bowl what? noodles. What is that? I don't know. It's like a cup of noodles, but it's a different company and a... It looks good. It says rich and savory. Oh, well. <laughs> oh. Is that heated? Oh. Yes. It's got like hot water in it. Love to open that and spill it on your barrel. Oh, arms. that would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Berlin water. And then Berlin water was on my arms. Yeah. Oh. All right, we'll break. Yeah. And uh, we got a busy show, actually. What's we going on today? We have Stalker Patty coming in because oh. I guess she's getting married to Fez or Talk something. Talk about her nuptials. Yeah, we'll try to get Fez an update on that from the Ron and Fez show. Future Mrs. Watley. And then we got uh, Ben Lyons coming in to talk movies. Ben Laden? Ben <laughs> Lyons. Oh, that's different. And uh, he's cool. I've met him a couple times. Good yeah. guy. You know who Ben Lyons is uh, buddies with? Who? Who that? DJ Who Kid. Really? Who? Oh, who? How's the Who Kid? He's good. He's uh, he's still international right now. He's on the N-Word Bond tour. <laughs> what? He calls himself N-Word Bond. Nigga Bond. That's right. No, but the tour is called the N-Word Bond tour. It's, it's called N-Word. Is it called N-Word, N-word yeah, Bond? Yeah, he wants white people to come. Oh, oh so, so he's not he saying N-word Nigga Bond. bond yeah. Who's on that with him? It's just him. It's just him. DJing at different... But he's he wears, DJing around the globe. But he wears like a bow tie and like a tuxedo, so he keeps oh. posting Instagram pictures of oh. Nigga and, Bond. Yeah, I've seen a lot yeah. of his pictures of and, him with a lot of uh, white women. And people yes. eat it up, right? They love it. They love him. Because he's a non-threatening black guy. But he d- he does well wherever he goes with his DJ. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he, he one of the top in, uh, DJs in the world? I would say so. I he mean, was just in Abu Dhabi, right? Yeah, Dubai. Dubai. That's cool. Yeah. And also, we bitched about it, and uh, Roland 